Welcome to the John Malone Show. Today I wanted to follow up on last week's podcast about the drone strike in Afghanistan. It seems that the Pentagon has reversed its role and that it was a righteous strike. It seems that after a more thorough investigation, they realized that this was a horrible mistake. That the victims of the drone strike were in fact not ISIS-K members. So my question is, is an apology enough? Last week in a Pentagon news briefing, Major General Kenneth F. McKenzie Jr. accepted responsibility for the accidental drone strike, killing a gentleman and 10 of his family members, most of them children. During the general's apology, he seemed to be very insincere, listing off all kinds of excuses for why this happened, while also promising to investigate this matter more thoroughly so this doesn't happen again. Well, I don't believe that, because it keeps happening. We are supposed to have the best military in the world. Our soldiers and their leadership have supposedly trained and trained and trained for situations like this. So how do these things keep happening? And how do they get away with it? In today's cancel culture society, we want to eliminate somebody for a tweet. Yet our military leaders seem to get away with murder. So I have a couple of questions. Is this murder? Well, our military obviously killed somebody, and they say it was accidental. This is called involuntary manslaughter. We have finally had enough as a society here in the United States to where now we are arresting police officers for involuntary manslaughter. So are the rules different for our military? How is this general still able to lead? What about the drone pilots? I've not been able to find anything anywhere that says these people are relieved of their duties while there's an investigation going on. It's all just been quickly brushed under the rug. In fact, after General McKenzie's remarks the other day, General Milley expressed regret, saying that this is a horrible tragedy of war and it's heart-wrenching. He says, we are committed to being fully transparent about this incident. Well, that's not true. They're not being transparent. And they weren't being transparent weeks ago when they said this was a righteous strike. And they were absolutely certain that this person was a terrorist. So how did we get this so wrong? And he says, during a time of war, Well, I thought we weren't at war with Afghanistan anymore. I thought that's why we pulled out. This is mixed messaging. It's hard for us to take these people seriously when they don't have their shit together. If this happened in America, we'd have been asking for people's resignations, been asking for people to be prosecuted. But what, because it's on foreign soil? Ah, well, is that really how we feel? And now the U.S. military and the Pentagon are saying that they're looking into reparations for the family. So we're going to give them money. So here's a check and an apology. What do you think they're going to be able to do with that money? As soon as you give it to them, the Taliban's going to come take it away. We should have somebody from the State Department over there right now asking this family, what do they want? What do they need? Do they want to be relocated? And to where? And let's facilitate that. So move them if they want to be moved. And make sure these people are financially set for life. You can't just shut people up by paying them off. And we need to make sure these things don't ever happen again. But just like with our police departments here in America, until these people face repercussions for their poor decisions, they will keep doing this. Because nothing's going to happen to them. They can hide behind the fog of war. This is bullshit and they know it. It's these actions that lead to terrorism. This is why these people want to kill us. Because we keep killing them. I mean, if your neighbor came over and just punched you in the face and said, oops, I'm sorry, I'm having a bad day, you wouldn't take to that very kindly, no matter how apologetic he was. And finally, we're not letting the police get away with it. So why are we letting our military get away with it? And again, this is one of these stories that has not gained a whole lot of traction in the news. This should be filling up the 24-hour news cycle. Any military soldier or leader that was involved in that drone strike should be immediately removed from duty, pending investigations and trials. Because there should be trials. To find out who knew what, and when did they know it, and did this drone strike need to happen? Could we have not waited another day or two? Could they have not surveilled him just a little bit longer? Make absolute certain? I know if we don't keep talking about this, it will get swept under the rug. It'll be forgotten. These people will have died in vain. And we will do it again. Tell me what your thoughts are.
what would you like to see happen? I hear this family says that an apology is not enough and they demand justice. Well, what justice do you think they deserve? I really want to know what you think. Please leave a comment down below and let's have a discussion about this. And again, if you are enjoying my podcast, please hit the subscribe button and I'll talk to you next time on the John Malone show.